What is up, political vigilantes? You're all out there finding the truth. You're making things better in your neck of the woods. That's what you're supposed to do when you're a progressive, when you're a political vigilante. You get involved. That's what this show's about. You don't want to watch the ridiculous lies that are told to you on CNN and MSNBC and Fox News. You come here. They're all lying to you. They're all lying to you. You big Trump supporter and you watch Fox News, they're lying to you. Big Democrat, Clinton, Obama supporter, MSNBC's lying to you. They're all lying to you. They want you divided. The mainstream media is designed to keep you distracted, divided, and afraid. That's what they're doing. I don't want to do that. I want to keep you informed. I want to keep you united. I want to keep you focused and driven on a plan that will help make everything better. So we got to confront the realities. So the mainstream media keeps telling us the economy's doing great. Everything's doing good. You know, the stock market's up there, which, you know, when the stock market's doing well, that definitely benefits the 1%. They own 85% of all the stocks. So 15% of all the stocks owned or traded are by the everybody else. <laughs> I used to play in the stock market. I'd have a thousand shares here or something. I'd have a couple grand worth of stock and I'm going to... No, it's just, it's just, Here's the reality. This came out last year, but I want to talk about it again because as I'm watching more corporate Democrats join the presidential run and then get propped up by the corporate media because the corporate media, you know what? This came out last summer and you know what? Rachel Maddow, she didn't go on and on about this for a year, did she? 40 million people in poverty, U.S. most unequal developed nation. Because when you make $7 million a year pushing war machine bullshit, you can't talk about this. We have a nation of about 330 million people. So more than 10% of the population is living in poverty. So when Beto O'Rourke stands on the table as the number two benefactor of oil lobby money, I don't want to hear his nonsense. When Kamala Harris makes money from the private prison industry and One West Bank, I don't want to hear her nonsense. When Amy Klobuchar throws uh, staplers at employees and won't sign the no fossil fuel money pledge, I don't want to hear from her. When Joe Biden, between sniffing girls' hairs like a filthy old creep, is helping Obama uh, get to, excuse me, 10 million foreclosures and bail out the banks and not prosecute anybody. I don't want to hear that he's going to run for president. I don't want to hear what he has to say. I really don't. Let's go into this study. A study for the United Nations Human Rights Council has concluded 40 million people in the United States live in poverty and more than half of those live in extreme or absolute poverty. So that means over 20 million people live in like on the street, nothing poverty, like own nothing. We have parts of this country that are in third world conditions, but no, just, just hey, the economy's doing great. Trump's $1.5 trillion tax break, boy, that helped. It helped 85% of the, it didn't go to 85% of the people. It went to the billionaires. It went to the ruling class. He didn't, he didn't help you. Hillary wouldn't have helped you. The United States has the highest income inequality in the Western world, and this can only be made worse by the massive new tax cuts. This is, again, from a year ago, talking about Trump's ridiculous tax cuts, overwhelmingly benefiting the, the wealthy. This gentleman, Alston, is from the UN Report. He criticized the Trump administration for stigmatizing the poor and saying those receiving government benefits are lazy and should be working. The report found that only 7% of the people that receive benefits don't work. 7%. Because even with a job, you need government assistance. With two, you need two, three jobs. And with two, three jobs and government assistance, you still don't have health care. You still got to do a GoFundMe for a surgery. 
The statistics that are available show that the great majority of people who, for example, are on Medicaid are either working in full-time work, around half of them, or they are in school or they are giving full-time care to others. We could just flat out give Medicare for all. Just make everybody get Medicare. You could still have private insurance companies. If you want to go buy your own insurance or your employer gives you insurance, great. But you should, everyone should be able to get Medicare for all. And one of the things that, that I uh, was talking to a friend of mine who's in his 70s, the thing about Medicaid, he goes, Graham, is they'll negotiate. He goes, he had like a, uh, a surgery or whatever, and they had to do a CAT scan, an MRI, and they said they gave him back with a bill with $9,000. Medicaid, because they're the government, went and said, no, it's only going to be $4,000. And we're going to pay $3,500 of it. So my friend has supplemental insurance, which is like next to nothing, and they paid the $500. So he said, I paid nothing. Private insurance companies aren't gonna negotiate the rate down. They're just gonna say, oh, we're only gonna pay this much. We're only pay 3,500, but you gotta cover the rest of the nine grand. Everyone I know that's like, has a family member or is a senior citizen, they all say Medicare, Medicaid, it's great. So why don't we just give it to everybody? I just say, well, you can start when you're on it when you're 35 or 40 or something like that. Why not give it to anybody? Once you turn 18, you, get, you can join Medicaid if you want. We have the money for it. The Pentagon lost $21 trillion. I think we find that money, we could pay for everything. I think if we stop spending the $1.5 trillion on the F-35, which isn't even finished yet, or all the wars overseas, or just everybody starts learning modern monetary theory, the federal government issues currency, they could just do that. Or you can say stuff like this. This is what Hillary said in 2016. Single payer healthcare will never ever happen. That's the bold leadership from the Democrats and the Republicans because they both get money from the healthcare lobby. 40 million people live in poverty. If you're running for president or any major office and you're not talking about that and the environment, you are an idiot or you're paid off by these clowns. Thanks for watching the show, everybody. Tour dates, progressive comedy tour at GrahamElwood.com, Political Vigilante Live, April 18th at GrahamElwood.com. Follow me on the Twitter, at GrahamElwood, Instagram, at GrahamElwood. I typically talk politics on Twitter. I do my live stream every Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific, unless otherwise noted. Subscribe, share the videos, spread the word.